Hey guys, what's going on everybody? It's Mr. Summer come here and welcome back to another BTS reaction. We are back once again, as always. And today I'm super, super excited because we're back with the rap line. J-Hope, Suga, RM, they're ready to go off. The song is called Uh. I don't know if I've pronounced that completely correct. Uh, I think it's just uh, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be listening to the song, watching the lyric video, and then we're going to move straight on to an explanation video by DKDKTV, explained by a Korean once again. We watched his explanation video for the rap line song Dang quite a few days ago, and uh, I really, really enjoyed it. He really knows what he's on about. He's really good at talking. So I'm looking forward to what the song kind of means and stuff. But first, we're going to have to go and hear it. Really looking forward to it, expecting some absolute bars from all three of them i'm not gonna lie and uh yeah without further ado let's get right into it but as always guys just before we do get into it if you've been watching these videos and you're enjoying what you're seeing you're liking the content make sure you click that subscribe button down below if you've not already 40 percent of you who watch these videos very regularly have not yet clicked that button and you don't even realize so if you have not make sure you click it guys that'd be amazing also if you'd like to support me even further top right on my screen is my instagram and my twitter at mr Samicamp on both of them i post updates on videos do little live streams and stuff like that so it's definitely worth going and giving me a follow over there and without further ado look at them man i mean they're all suited up top buttons done up but uh i've got a feeling that they're just gonna go off on this so those suits are gonna get completely destroyed with the amount of dirt that's gonna come out of these guys' mouths but yeah without further ado let's get right into this okay we started off with a gunshot if that isn't a sign i don't know what is this is me <laughs> we got RM coming in, dude. What was that? Dong, 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 dong. Okay, sugar. I hear you. Oh my. Okay, right. We've gone straight in with this. We started with a gunshot. The really mean beat came in, and then sugar is not playing around today. He really is not. <laughs> Yeah. Did you just see those lyrics? Even a truth becomes a lie, even a lie becomes a truth. Oh. <laughs> what are these lyrics, dude? You are not only killing me, we're used to stepping on poop. What? What's going on? <laughs> Feces? <laughs> Okay, Travis Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh my god, dude, this is like this is crazy Travis Scott vibes right now, like this auto-tuned rap. This is nuts. What is going on? Oh. That is dirty. Hey, right, I'm sorry, but just like Sugar, just the things he can do with his voice while he's rapping. He doesn't just rap. He he, he keeps, he has like, I want to call them voice cracks, but they're obviously completely deliberate voice cracks that he does, where his voice just goes, just changes tone for like a split second. But it just, it is so unique and it just, it sounds amazing. Like that bit. Is that song? Ooh. 
Chill, 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 chill. Ahem, ahem, ahem. Oh my god, what is going Dude, why that's why does that sound so good? That just hypes you up so much, dude. It's like, I am, I am, I am. It just keeps getting faster and faster. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, this bit's insane. The ooh, hey, ooh, hey, hey, oh. I'm sorry. Oh, this beat is dirty. Okay, I'm not too sure if they just killed everybody or what, because pff, honestly, they sampled a machine gun there at the end, but it doesn't didn't really sound much different to that absolute machine gun rap that they were just firing at us. Rapid fire throughout that whole song, just the, I him, I him, I him, dude, it's so hype. They went in on this track, man. They went in on this track, and I'm living for it. Like, I need to listen to, hopefully we can listen to, like, little clips of it again in this, in this, uh, explain video that we're about to watch it is almost 15 minutes long so uh it's gonna be it's gonna be a long watch there must be a lot to this song if there's a 15 minute explain video but yeah really looking forward to this as always uh this guy this dk dk tv guy always seems to you know break down the song really nicely he's got a really deep understanding of korean culture and stuff like that so uh you know he knows what he's on about but yeah hopefully we get to listen to a bit of the song again because i need to hear that i need to hear that once more man to take it all in it's one of those songs where there's so much going on like the first listen you can't really take it all in fully so uh yeah let's let's see what this is man hey just that little voice crack have like... another clever song from the bts wow. rap line spitting out fire just like dang but if you thought this song was to just diss like haters dang. and crush them well i would say that is maybe like 50 percent right it's actually deeper than that so let's dive into the real meaning of the song. As so Suga starts out with saying that the haters are starting to get triggered again, and they get triggered so fast that even before the actual fuel is poured, they ignite and burn themselves. It means that haters overreact and blow things out of proportion with the smallest details. And in that process, they don't know that they're actually hurting themselves with all the negativity. That's some real stuff, that. Now he's being sarcastic and calling the haters a pro, a player that enters the ring with a trivial little flaw and keeps on biting on that and doesn't let go, making a big fuss out of it. So 동네북 is literally translated into neighborhood drum. This is a Korean expression that means a drum that anybody can hit on, basically meaning an easy target or person to shit on. 
Tung 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 is how Koreans pronounce the sound of a drum. So he's using, they use these little onomatopoeias so much within their songs. It's really, really clever, but I love how he's actually like depicting that the whole psychology behind people who hate. He's not just saying, oh, you haters are like useless and stuff like that. Like, why are you hating on me? I'm the best. He's actually talking about like why people hate. Like that is so, that's awesome, man. The drum. The haters keep on poking with no reason, like a boxing player that keeps on jabbing. And if Suga keeps on ignoring them, they start to stab him. This expression, tamgoborida, is actually a very hardcore slang used by Korean gangs when they stab people with knives. The original word tamguda would mean to put an object into a liquid, usually used in terms of kimchi or salted seafood called chokgar. The common thing among these foods is that they are all red, liquidy, and they go inside jars afterwards for fermentation. So you can see why gangs would use this word in that kind of way. And pu is a word that expresses the action of stabbing into something very deep. See, it's all it's all of these sounds, man. They use sounds within their rap, and it's it just like you can it means that you can just feel what they're saying so much better. Even, I mean, even if I'm not fully Korean, I can hear like puke, like that's like puke, like oh, it's, it's like a disgusting stabbing sound. And powerfully. <laughs> Now notice that the mimetic mm -hmm. words dung dung dung, tuk tuk, <clears throat> and puk puk all rhyme with uk and each other and they all escalate by each line from hitting a drum to jabbing and stabbing. So haters start off trying to tease they rhyme all these sounds, Shuga, man. but when he doesn't respond, they start <clears throat> jabbing and stabbing him. The truth becomes a lie, mm -hmm. a lie becomes the truth. It's funny to see everyone suddenly becoming a morally perfect and flawless human being. And yeah, I know a little bit about this too, and it seems like the typical characteristics of many online communities and platforms with people that have nothing better to do in real life than spread hate towards others. Get a life, guys. Exactly. RM states that rage is an actual emotion that is sometimes needed. He says that people have the right to get mad at certain things, and that might be our history. The word history can be used in general terms, as in a nation or the world's history, or in terms of BTS themselves, like how their success and legacy was motivated and accomplished through anger. But overall, RM acknowledges the fact that rage can likely change the world. Now, Korea is a nation full of rage against many surrounding countries that invaded and colonized our land. Also, don't forget the most recent incident of rage impeached our former president as well. Wow. Yeah, I'm really interested because he, he talks about feces so much in this. Like, what is this all about? Like, on the surface, it looks like he's obviously talking about what he's talking about, but I don't know. Is he meaning something different? But he says that the anger that heads towards him is not punno, rage, but punyo, human waste, pee pee and poop. Oh, okay. So they just, it's just they use these words that sound so similar, but like mean completely different things and put them one after the other. It's really, really clever. Punno, rage, but punyo, human waste, pee pee and poo poo. He says that haters are actually killing anger with their fake anger, and numerous people are tired of that. This means that the useless negative energy or anger about stupid things haters throw around in the world is actually devaluating the power and impact of the word anger. It's true. The more you use a word, the less power it holds. So obviously, yeah, he's completely right here. RM keeps on going by saying that your anger is not just killing us, we're used to that shit anyways. But the real problem is that people are getting insensitive about the emotion anger itself, since it's so normalized and thrown towards them and in every direction. He keeps on going by saying that human waste and indifference is a team, which is what the haters are and deserve. Wow. RM's talking this stuff, man. 
Oh, that line, dude. Then the rap line goes, ooh. Ook is a Korean term that describes the state of blood suddenly rushing to your head in a second right after you see something infuriating. It's usually used towards people who no don't way. know how to keep their temper and are hot-headed. BTS cleverly translated ook into ug, very similar to how it sounds in English, and also gives that feeling of a sudden disgust or frustration. Then why does the rap line suddenly- Dude, I didn't realize that word held such a like, a, such a, well, not deep meaning, but I mean, here it's just like a sound you use for anger, but like, yeah, I guess in Korea it must hold like a, a bit more power, I guess. Or like, he's explained it a lot deeper than, uh, than what it could be in English, I guess. Sudden disgust or frustration. Then why does the rap line suddenly feel angry? Because of the haters? Well, not exactly. They're actually mad because of the anger that contains malice. At this point, they don't care about what haters shit on them anymore. They're angry about yeah. the fact that this pure emotion called anger is being used in such a malicious way to hurt them or others which result in nothing else but harm. It doesn't change the world or history and that's why they bring up the word punyo, human waste, because anger is becoming wasted. Dude, these guys are beyond it, man. They're not just saying like, if you're hating on us, then we hate you. We're saying like, if you're hating on us, then yeah, we don't like you because you're not destroying us. You're destroying the actual meaning of anger and you're you're wasting it in a way because you're spurting anger at things which, you know, you don't need to be angry about. Anger is such a powerful thing that we could use for good in some ways, uh, but instead they're using it for bad. It's just, it's next level, man. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not, I can't get over that line. Oh, the gap! Just like the energy. Then goes on and says that he's angry about the anger that got extinguished. In accordance with the previous lyrics, this means that J Hope is angry that at some situations when anger was truly needed for like a protest or a good cause or whatever, it died out and didn't meet its final goal. Because yeah. the anger is being diffused towards random subjects like BTS themselves or, for example, DKDK TV. They don't care, <laughs> and we don't care either, but if that energy were to be gathered and used for a meaningful cause, the anger could actually make an improvement in the world. So Dude, I've never heard this take on, like, haters and, like, oh, it's just so clever, man. And it's so true, like, that's what haters are. They're just people who are using anger in just, like, a really useless way. And like just the, just the way they're saying that in this song is so wow. Basically, stop shitting on Twitter and throwing your anger at random people and make that anger useful and make yourself useful. Reach. So good this song, dude. In general, they go on promoting anger. They say be angry about things that are not just in this society. However, to the haters, this line has a sarcastic double meaning. It's basically saying, yeah, go off, go off as much as you can until you become ashes and break yourself. Whatever, I don't Dude, care. I love this, man. They don't care. They do not care. It does not affect them. Uh. J-Hope continues to say that he understands that anger is a powerful emotion that moves and rules the world. But then he says that some people these days just can't live without being angry. They're just too angry at every single little thing and they go crazy with it. They're like, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my God. It's too true though, man. Like if some people, they just have so much anger that's just like built up in them and they've got no way to like let it out in any good ways. So they just kind of spurt out at random people who like, they're jealous about or who are like more successful than them, who they want to be in the position of. And that's, that's who haters are really. <laughs> Mm. Once again, he points out that there are thousands of reasons to get angry about. Either mm. if it's for good or bad, it is anger. <clears throat> he says that unleashing your anger is okay, but he doesn't like the anger that harms other people's lives. So he urges haters to stop that. It's so, he says it so powerfully and passionately as well. So someone's actions can hurt someone and someone's words can make someone lose hope and someone's mm. blink of an eye can become a moment for someone. 
Someone's anger can cost even the life of someone. Sugar spits mm -hmm. out of disgust. Although wow, these... that's that's mad. But it's true, like especially like famous people, people just like spur anger at them, and they're like, oh, you know, it's not gonna affect them. They've just they've already got loads of people who love them. But the truth is, like they they see a lot more than you think. Like people who get thousands of comments on like YouTube videos or whatever, like the the negative comments are always the ones that stand out. So. You, you can't think that like they're not seeing it because they do and sometimes it, it affects them really like negatively Although these lines are universal and it applies to all of us here in particular in this song because they went to the extent of mentioning a life Personally, I think they had in mind of the tragic incidents that happened in K-pop last year Stupid and what? useless actions words mockery and anger were wasted on such meaningless things about idols and celebrities that some of these celebrities were forced to make a very unfortunate decision. If you think this is a stretch, then you should listen to the next verse. This part is an impersonation of haters and netizens. These jobless people keep on saying stuff such as, what's the big deal about getting some insults? You guys deserve it because you guys make a whole lot of money anyways. So stop complaining, it's a toll for being famous, so just suck it up. Dude, people think that money and success and fame like somehow counteracts getting hate and like all these mean messages it doesn't man it just doesn't like it just they still hit exactly the same and like just because you have like loads of money doesn't mean you're like immune to this stuff like a lot of people think that and when you get into a position where i'm not saying like i'm in a position where i'm like rich and famous and all that but like i have noticed that like you know you can get thousands of comments saying like i love you but it's always like it's always the negative ones like they still hurt you know what i mean like these people are still human you can't forget that. As what's the big deal about getting some insults? You guys deserve it because you guys make a whole lot of money anyways. So stop complaining. It's a toll for being famous. So just suck it up. This is the common logic that many netizens would say whenever a celebrity brought up how they are suffering from or are planning to sue hate comments. <laughs> Me, what is a just let me be in your place let me be an idol and i'd be able to deal with all of that is what the haters keep on saying justifying the hate comments and undermining the pain celebrity dude you don't know until you're in that position like have just because they profit out of publicity then the haters say the word ahem <clears throat> now this sound oh they were doing in english as well simply to clear out your throat or show that I've done that like or... I'm not gonna lie, I've done that like ten times in this video because I've just got like my throat is just eh. or give an invisible message to somebody who's dumb, who's not able to read the atmosphere, or to nullify the awkwardness after saying something embarrassing and on like <clears throat> something. Oh, like so that. he feels like Anyways, he's saying something. Anyways, as you see a lot of ahems in this part, I would say that all the usages and contexts would actually fit in. However, just to add one extra point of view as a Korean, the sound. <clears throat> was mostly used by Yangban or Gondes in Korea. So Yangban is a privileged noble class during the Goryeo Joseon dynasty that knew how to read Chinese and study Confucianism and were superior in class to all the other classes such as mechanics, merchants, farmers, and slaves. These Yangbans would use the word <clears throat> in diverse situations like when they needed their servants or when they would scold them or try to show off their nobleness. <laughs> 그 쓸데없이 방 차지하고 있는 상컷들 밀쳐내고 어서 방이나 한칸 마련해 놓게. 보시다시피 양반님네 성화가 보통이 아니요. 먼저 숙박한 사람을 내줬다는 이게 무슨 경우요? 그리 못하오. 아니 저놈이 지금 뭐라고 짓거리는 게야? 가만, 가만 좀 있어 보시게. <웃음> 양반님네들이 저리 순하게 나오시는데 방좀 같이 쓰셔야겠소. 그래요. Oh my god, dude. I just absolutely love how deep into like the Korean culture this all goes and like how there's such a different meaning to people who obviously understand art and are within this culture. Because with English music, if you think about it, like there's a lot of stuff that is traditional like English traits that people from other countries just wouldn't understand at all. And it's exactly what this is. And it's just great to have like this Korean's point of view explaining this stuff. It gives like a whole new meaning to the song and it's so good. <laughs> I just love how they use like little sounds as well. It's so clever. 
제대로 된 과거도 아니고 음. 끝까지 찍고 까나 보는데 뭘 그리 볼게 많은가? 사람 목숨 다룬 일이 그리 만만한 줄 아십니까? 하, 그래봤자 의원 나부랭이가 아니냐? 너희들 하는 일을 의학이 아니라 의술이라고 부르는 이유를 모르겠더냐? <웃음> Also, Gonde basically Man. means a boomer in the workspace where someone older than you no tries way. to force their way without any logic or reasonable reason just by the fact that they're born earlier than you. These Gondes casually use like that, <laughs> to give nunchi, which is a Korean thing that basically means figure out what I mean or what I want without me having to say it with my own mouth. The magic word would be uh. <laughs> and everybody would have to shut up and comply. So the word ahem has a complex usage and nuance in it, but basically it would be best if you understood it as these internet keyboard warriors who think they are morally perfect, better than you, sitting on their high horses, trying to shush you and give you nunchi and saying suck it up. Ahem, 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 ahem. So yeah, you could replace the ahem <laughs> I love with that. the words like suck it up, get over with it, or shut yeah. up. <laughs> it's just like it's weird as like these little words hold, hold so much meaning. Like I'm not just on about about this one but there's so many little sounds like this that like someone will do it and you'll you you'll just grab like such a deep meaning from it and they come from like just way back and it, they've just kind of stuck and just developed this really like high me like you know the gesture shh like think about how much power that has it's kind of like an act of disrespect it's like be quiet but it's just like a little it's so weird how stuff like that happens. <clears throat> While BTS is receiving all these ahems, if you listen carefully to the tone they're rapping with, you can feel a sense of sarcasm, which means at one point, BTS is saying the same thing, ahem, vice versa to the haters as well. It's so good, man. It's like you want to do it to us, we're going to do it straight back at you. In conclusion, this song is mainly about BTS's anger against how people these days waste their precious anger, emotions, time, and energy in stupid things like mocking celebrities, BTS, and internet figures, and on, which sometimes lead to tragic incidents. When this anger could actually it's, be used in a revolutionary deeper, way to bring change in history or positivity. Therefore, Ook is not a direct diss song about the haters because it seems like BTS has elevated to a level where they don't even care anymore about human trash. Dude, it's bigger the, than the haters. Level, it's a declaration about the emotion anger itself and a lament on the modern day social contextual usage or waste of anger. <laughs> Dude, these guys, man, they're a level above, I'm telling you. Like, on the surface, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was just a song about them being like, how they've got so many people who are trying to drag them down, and how they're not being productive with their time and stuff, but it's actually, they've, they're talking about it so much deeper than that. They don't even care about the people who are hating on them, they care about it because, you know, they could be using it for so much more good, and I've never heard that outlook on it ever, but it's such a good one, man, and it's so true, it's so, so true, and the fact, I'm so happy that they've got over actually being affected about these people who have these opinions and that it doesn't even matter to them anymore and this is what matters to them because you know it holds a lot more meaning than them just getting caught up over these things that they're saying but yeah again uh i need to start watching a lot more of these uh, explain videos because they're honestly such an interesting watch like that was 15 minutes but it felt like what two minutes or something but yeah, man, I hope you did enjoy the video, guys. If you did, a like rating would be much appreciated down below. Thank you all so much for the support recently. Thank you for 60,000 as well. We hit it last night. Absolutely amazing. I hope you guys are staying safe with everything that's going on. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. And as always, we will see you in the next video tomorrow. Again, if you're not already subscribed down below, make sure you subscribe so you get notified. Uh, I don't I don't trust the YouTube recommendations and stuff like that. You never can. Sometimes they just don't send it to you. So if you're subscribed, you'll never miss an upload. So thank you guys so much much for watching as i said we'll see you tomorrow peace off